So for today, we're going to be looking at the highest battleground, specifically the moon. We do have two. We have Europa and the moon. We're going to be looking at the moon since that one is technically the first one. The first one is the Europa one, but you don't officially complete it, which is why I'm going to do that one second. So if you guys like the video, like, comment, subscribe. Other than that, let's get into it. So for the heist battleground moon, it's pretty cool. You start off in the main area of the moon, uh, essentially just killing stuff, making sure to not uh, get shot by the towers because that is an insta kill. It is pretty wild. And that's really it. There's nothing too crazy about it. The first portion is just kill a bunch of stuff until the mean big bad guy comes out. And then after that, you just kill him and then you get to the actual portion. If you guys have played Season of the Worthy, you guys will instantly remember where the next portion is because this is where the nodes were. And it's pretty cool. I actually think reusing this asset's pretty cool um, because I do like the aesthetic of this area. I will say, though, that there is new assets, I would say, because a lot of people will immediately remember like the Defend the Ghost area. This is where the bulk of the season of the worthy stuff was This is where like you would do everything. And I was just expecting this to be it. I wasn't expecting anything new. And then out of nowhere, they brought us uh, a new area. They brought us uh, after you're done with uh, the defend the ghost area, which uh, I mean, I'm either or like I don't really care. We always get one of these, but it's also like we always get one of these. So it's like whatever's i will say it's really annoying trying to kill the disruptors i think they're called <clears throat> trying to kill the disruptors without them actually disrupting the ghost because i'm pretty sure there's like something for it like maybe an achievement or a triumph i should say and it's super annoying because they're one of those uh enemy types specifically the scorn that once they start in moving in their like uh like their mist form there you can't you can't touch them so instantly when they spawn you have to take them out or they they'll just uh override the ghost which is annoying other than that this area is not that crazy it's just literally defend the ghost we've done this millions of millions of times after that, you actually go to the next portion, which I think is pretty cool. You will first have to dodge some lasers, which I thought is pretty funny because uh, a lot of people have died. I haven't died yet, but it's pretty funny. Then you go through some ducks, which again, I, I think this was pretty cool. Uh, I definitely like the variety of the environment because this is definitely new. We haven't been in this area. At least I haven't been in this area. And then we get to this portion where we have to basically destroy some runes in front of a door. We essentially just have to kill some scorn. After we kill the scorn, we get this big laser, big laser. You can shoot the the locks, the hive locks on it and your doors open. You usually need two uh, unless you guys are not shooting the locks right. Then you might need three. But other than that, it's not that crazy. After that, you go to the main room and then you fight a boss. Thankfully, each of the area from what I've noticed is different bosses. So for the moon specifically, you're going to be fighting a so for the moon specifically, you're going to be fighting a scorn boss, a sniper, if I remember correctly. And it's pretty cool. Uh, she teleports a lot there. This has a lot of enemy density, at least like a decent amount for three players. Not only that, it's actually like you will actually die if you're not careful. I should have put it in the, in the screen, but I have died a couple of times in this. And it's kind of refreshing because I was just expecting to like roll over and just kind of destroy everything. But I did actually die a couple of times. Uh, overall, I don't have much to say about this one other than the fact that like all of the bosses seem to share this trait where once you get them to a certain health uh, portion, usually half or like uh, a quarter or like a third of their health, usually somewhere around there, they'll become immune. And at that point, you have to actually charge a battery to five usually. And then after that, you can kill you can kill them or get to the next immunity level. So, I mean, I know people don't like damage gates like this, but I actually don't really mind it. Uh, I do think they could have done it a little bit better. But overall, I think this activity is probably a lot better than the previous ones we've had before, like season of the plunders. I still think is good. It's just 
I think it goes a, a little too long. Uh, after a while, you're just kind of like, I want to leave already. This, I, I don't think this overstays its welcome. Uh, aside from maybe the ghost portion, I think that's a little too long, but that's usually long because that's how it is. Uh, but the boss area is super dope. I really enjoy actual that like the actual boss fight is a lot of fun and with season of the plunders i think the boss fight was like hit or miss sometimes i mean the coolest one was definitely the one that changes his burn and because he was actually difficult but the other two were just kind of boring in my opinion like very very boring uh season of the haunted uh was good and bad be just because it was a public event but it was also in its own dedicated area so it wasn't like season of the worthy for example where it was a public event but it was in a in an area that like usually was crowded with new lights so it was pretty annoying overall i think this uh activity is really cool i do have a few things to say that are different for the europa one so if you guys are interested make sure to check that one out when, it, when it's available but yeah let me know what you guys think about the actual activity itself again i think this is probably the best we've had so far just because again it doesn't overstay its welcome it's quick and to the point and the the actual activity is pretty difficult not difficult in the sense like oh my god this is super hard more so like shit just hits you so much harder that it makes it's like a fresh like uh a breath of fresh air because usually everything we just roll through no like, like just not even thinking about it this one you kind of actually have to pay attention so let me know what you guys think be safe and i'll see you guys later